This past weekend marked one year since the city of Los Angeles swore in the first woman fire chief in city history. Yeah, KCAL News reporter Joy Benedict sat down with Chief Kristen Crowley to find out how her first year in office went and how she's tackling the department's <laughs> biggest challenges. I, Kristen Crowley, do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. It was one year ago Chief Kristen Crowley was sworn in as the 19th fire chief in Los Angeles history. 366 days after taking over, she is still excited. How do you feel about one year on the job? Oh, I tell you, it's been such an amazing journey. I, I'm honestly feel inspired. But there have also been challenges. The community needs are different. A couple years ago, a thousand calls were a lot for us. We are running easily on average 1,500 calls. That's a day. Crowley says calls for service are up 12 and a half percent since just 2020. I think the issue is that I'm hearing from a lot of firefighters in the field is that the call volume is so great. Right. They are tired. Mm -hmm. You're spot on. I mean, that one of my favorite words today is balance. We want to bring balance to the organization. So the members that need to take that time away, that they need to refocus at home, that's going to be there for them. She says the new generation of firefighters work differently. They don't want the overtime shifts. So she needs to hire more people, not only to keep up with retirements, but an ever-growing city. If magically, if I could snap my fingers and say, let's go with 4,000, because the reality of where and how we need to allocate our resources that would be fantastic. That's 400 more employees than she has today. But Crowley isn't sure the future of the department is all firefighters. More than 80% of her calls are medical. We're actually looking at piloting right now, actually starting in May of emergency hired paramedics. She says hiring paramedics will help fill open shifts and keep response times low. And that's not all. She says they have several pilot programs she may want to make permanent. The question is what if? What if we do create a more agile type of response capability where now we have nurse practitioner units. Now I can send and we can send a fast response vehicle versus a 100 foot aerial ladder truck. And with 50% of all their calls related to the city's homeless population, she says mental health collaborations with the county are a necessity, freeing up firefighters to do what they do best, fight fires. Who rescues the rescuers? because our members deal with a lot. But this chief already knows that resources take money and she hopes the city supports her vision and her crews who risk so much to keep LA safe. Joy Benedict, KCAL News.